Curaçao Curaçao is an island in the southern Caribbean Sea, off the Venezuelan coast, that forms part of the Dutch Caribbean. The country of Curaçao, which includes the main island and the small, uninhabited island of Klein Curaçao, is a constituent country of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. It has a population of over 150,000 on an area of 444 kilometers to and its capital is Alemstad. Prior to October 10, 2010, when the Netherlands Antilles was dissolved, Curaçao was administered as the island territory of Curaçao, Dutch, Eilandjebt Curaçao, Pape Menchu, Territorio Insula de Corsa, one of five island territories of the former Netherlands Antilles. Etymology one explanation for the origin of the name Curaçao is that it is derived from the Portuguese word for heart, Caracao, referring to the island as a center in trade. Spanish traders kept the name as Curaçao, which was followed by the Dutch. Another explanation is that Curaçao was the name the Arawak people had used to identify themselves. On a map created by Hieronymus Koch in 1562 in Antwerp, the island was referred to as Caracao. Four British Royal Navy ships have been named after the island between 1809 and 1942. All have used the unusual spelling HMS Curacoa. The last of these was a C-class light cruiser of 1917. The name Curacao has become associated with a shade of blue, because of the deep blue version of the liqueur named Curacao, also known as Blue Curacao. History the original inhabitants of Curaçao were Arawak peoples. Their ancestors had migrated to the island from the mainland of South America, likely hundreds of years before European encounter. The first Europeans recorded as seeing the island were members of a Spanish expedition under the leadership of Alonso de Ergida in 1499. The Spaniards enslaved most of the Arawak as their labor force. They sometimes forcibly relocated the survivors to other colonies where workers were needed. In 1634, after the Netherlands achieved independence from Spain, Dutch colonists started to occupy the island. European powers were trying to get bases in the Caribbean. The Dutch West India Company founded the capital of Alemstad on the banks of an inlet called the Schottergat. Curaçao had been ignored by colonists, because it lacked gold deposits. The natural harbour of Alemstad proved to be an ideal spot for trade. Commerce and shipping, and piracy, became Curaçao's most important economic activities. In addition, in 1662 the Dutch West India Company made Curaçao a centre for the Atlantic slave trade, often bringing slaves here for sale elsewhere in the Caribbean. Sephardic Jews settled here with the Dutch and then Dutch Brazil. They have had a significant influence on the culture and economy of the island. Some merchants were part of the Dutch colonial slave trade. In the Franco-Dutch War, Count Jean Tudestries planned to attack Curaçao. His fleet, 12 men of war, three fireships, two transports, a hospital ship, and 12 privateers, met with disaster, losing seven men of war and two other ships when they struck reefs off the Las Aves archipelago. They had made a serious navigational error, hitting the reefs on May 11, 1678, a week after setting sail from St. Kitts. Curaçao marked the events by a day of thanksgiving, celebrated for decades into the 18th century, to commemorate the island's fortunate escape from being invaded by the French. Although a few plantations were established on the island by the Dutch, the first profitable industry established on Curaçao was salt mining. The mineral was a lucrative export at the time and was a major factor for the island being part of international commerce. Many Dutch colonists grew affluent from the slave trade, and the city built impressive colonial buildings. Curaçao architecture blends Dutch and Spanish colonial styles. The wide range of historic buildings in and around Elmstad has resulted in the capital being designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Landhouses, former plantation estates, and West African style Kaz de Paul Meshi, former slave dwellings, are scattered all over the island. Some have been restored and can be visited. In 1795, a major slave revolt took place under the lead of Tularegord, Louis Mercier, Bastian Carpata, and Pedro Wicao. 
up to 4,000 slaves on the northwest section of the island revolted. Over a thousand of the slaves were involved in heavy gun fights. After a month, the slave owners suppressed the revolt. Curacao's proximity to South America resulted in interaction with cultures of the coastal areas. For instance, architectural similarities can be seen between the 19th century parts of Alemstad and the nearby Venezuelan city of Coro in Falcon State. The latter has also been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In the 19th century, Curacians such as Manuel Pia and Luis Bryan were prominently engaged in the wars of independence of Venezuela and Colombia. Political refugees from the mainland, such as Simon Bolivar, regrouped in Curacao. Children from affluent Venezuelan families were educated on the island. During the 18th and 19th centuries, the island changed hands among the British, the French, and the Dutch several times. In the early 19th century, Portuguese and Lebanese migrated to Curacao attracted by the business opportunities. Stable Dutch rule returned in 1815, at the end of the Napoleonic Wars, when the island was incorporated into the colony of Curacao and dependencies. The Dutch abolished slavery in 1863, creating a change in the economy with a shift to free labor. Some inhabitants of Curacao emigrated to other islands, such as Cuba, to work in sugar cane plantations. Other former slaves had no place to go and remained working for the plantation owner in the tenant farmer system. This was an instituted order in which the former slave leased land from his former master. In exchange the tenant promised to give up most of his harvest to the former slave master. This system lasted until the beginning of the 20th century. Historically, Dutch was not widely spoken on the island outside of colonial administration. Its use increased in the late 19th and early 20th century. Students on Curacao, Aruba, and Bonaire were taught predominantly in Spanish up until the late 19th century. There were also efforts to introduce bilingual popular education in Dutch and Pape Menchu in the late 19th century, Van Puck 1999. When in 1914, oil was discovered in the Maracaibo Basin town of Mean Grand, the fortunes of the island were dramatically altered. Royal Dutch Shell and the Dutch government had built an extensive oil refinery installation on the former site of the slave trade market at Asiento. The oil company suddenly had many jobs for the local population and attracted a wave of immigration from surrounding nations. Curacao was an ideal site for the refinery, as it was away from the social and civil unrest of the South American mainland, but near enough to the Maracaibo Basin oil fields. It had an excellent natural harbor that could accommodate large oil tankers. East and South Asian immigrants arrived during the economic boom of the early 20th century. Shell brought affluence to the island. Large-scale housing was provided and Alemstad developed an extensive infrastructure. However, discrepancies appeared among the social groups of Curacao. The discontent and the antagonisms between Curacao social groups culminated in rioting and protest on May 30, 1969. The civil unrest fueled a social movement that resulted in the local Afro-Caribbean population attaining more influence over the political process, Anderson and Dines 1975. In the early 20th century, Dutch was made the sole language of instruction in the educational system to facilitate schooling for the children of expatriate employees of Royal Dutch Shell, Roma, 1999. Pape Menchu, the local Creole language, was tentatively reintroduced in the school curriculum during the mid-1980s. The years before and after World War II, Ashkenazi Jews emigrated from Eastern Europe, many of whom were Romanian Jews. Curacao gained self-government on January 1, 1954, as an island territory of the Netherlands Antilles. The islanders did not fully participate in the political process until after the social movements of the late 1960s. The island has developed a tourist industry and offered low corporate taxes to encourage companies to set up holdings in order to avoid higher taxes elsewhere. It has emphasized its diverse heritage to expand its tourism industry. Since the late 20th century, immigrants have come from neighboring countries, such as Venezuela, but also from the Dominican Republic, Haiti, and the Anglophone Caribbean and Colombia. In the early 21st century, 
a number of Dutch pensioners, pensionados, have settled on the island for its mild climate. In the mid-1980s, Royal Dutch Shell sold the refinery for a symbolic amount of one Antillian guilder to a local government consortium. The aging refinery has been the subject of lawsuits in recent years, which charge that its emissions, including sulfur dioxide and particulate matter, far exceeds safety standards. The government consortium currently leases the refinery to the Venezuelan state oil company PDVSA. On July 2, 1984, the 30th anniversary of the first elected island council, the council inaugurated the national flag and the official anthem. Since then, the movement to separate the island from the Antillean Federation has steadily become stronger. In the 2000s, the political relationship with the other islands of the Netherlands Antilles, and with the Netherlands, came under discussion again. In a referendum held on April 8, 2005, the residents voted for separate status outside the Netherlands Antilles, similar to Aruba. They rejected the options for full independence, becoming part of the Netherlands, or retaining the status quo. In 2006, Emily de Jong Elledge, a resident of Curaçao, was elected as the new Prime Minister of the Netherlands Antilles. On July 1, 2007, the island of Curaçao was due to become a country within the Kingdom of the Netherlands. On November 28, 2006, the Island Council rejected a clarification memorandum on the process. On July 9, 2007, the new Island Council of Curaçao ratified the agreement previously rejected in November 2006. On December 15, 2008, Curaçao was scheduled to become a separate country within the Kingdom of the Netherlands, like Aruba and the Netherlands until is that time. A non-binding referendum on this plan took place in Curaçao on May 15, 2009, in which 52% of the voters supported these plans. The dissolution of the Netherlands Antilles came into effect on October 10, 2010. Curaçao became a country within the Kingdom of the Netherlands, with the Kingdom retaining responsibility for defence and foreign policy. The Kingdom was also to oversee the island's finances under a debt relief arrangement agreed between the two. Curaçao's first Prime Minister was Gerrit Schott. He was succeeded in 2012 by Stanley Betrian, ad interim. After elections in 2012 Daniel Hodge became the third Prime Minister on December 31, 2012. He led a demissionary cabinet until June 7, 2013, when a new cabinet under leadership of current Prime Minister Evor Astges was sworn in. Due to an economic slump in recent years, emigration to the Netherlands has been high. Immigration from surrounding Caribbean islands, Latin American countries and the Netherlands has taken place. Recent political debate has centered on the issue of Pape Menchu becoming the sole language of instruction. Proponents argue that it will help preserve the language and will improve the quality of primary and secondary school education. Proponents of Dutch language instruction argue that students who study in Dutch will be better prepared for the university education offered to Curaçao residents in the Netherlands. Forts When the Dutch arrived in 1634, they built forts at key points around the island to protect themselves from foreign powers, privateers, and pirates. Five of the best preserved forts can still be seen today. Water Fort 1634, Fort Amsterdam, 1635, Fort Beckenberg, 1703, Fort Nassau, 1797, Rifort, 1828, Piscadera Bay Fort, built between 1701 to 1704. Four of these forts are placed in a 2 miles, 3.2 kilometers, radius, protecting the island primary natural harbor that once was the center of the slave trade. Water Fort, Fort Amsterdam and Refort are less than 300 yards, 270 m, apart, protecting the entrance to the harbour. In 1957, Hotel van der Belk Plaza Curaçao was built on top of the water fort. The Piscadera Bay Fort became a fundamental part of the Hilton Curaçao Hotel that opened in 1967. The fort is being used as historic backdrop for different types of weddings and events. The Rifort contains restaurants, and shops. It is located on the opposite side of the water fort across the entrance to the harbour. 
In 2009, the Renaissance Curacao Resort and Casino opened next to the Refort. Geography The southern coast has calm waters. The coastline has bays and inlets. Flora The flora of Curacao differs from the typical tropical island vegetation. Xeric scrublands are common, with various forms of cacti, thorny shrubs, evergreens, and the island's national tree, Divi Divis. Curacao's highest point is the St. Christofferberg 375 m, 1,230 feet, 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles, off the coast of Curacao, to the southeast, lies the small, uninhabited island of Klein Curacao, Little Curacao. Climate Curacao has a tropical savanna climate, Köppen climate classification as, with a dry season from January to September and a wet season from October to December. The temperatures are relatively constant with small differences throughout the year. The trade winds bring cooling during the day and the same trade winds bring warming during the night. The coldest month is January with an average temperature of 26.5 DEGC, 80 DEGF and the warmest month is September with an average temperature of 28.9 DEGC, 84 DEGF. The year's average maximum temperature is 31.2 DEGC, 88 DEGF. The year's average minimum temperature is 25.3 DEGC, 78 DEGF. Curacao lies outside the hurricane belt, but is still occasionally affected by hurricanes as for example Hazel in 1954, Anna in 1961, Felix in 2007 and Omar in 2008. A landfall of a hurricane in Curacao has not occurred since the United States National Hurricane Center started tracking hurricanes. Curacao has, however, been directly affected by pre-hurricane tropical storms several times. The latest which did so were Thomas in 2010, Caesar in 1996, Joan Miriam in 1988, Cora and Greta in 1978, Edith and Irene in 1971 and Francelia in 1969. The latest, Thomas, brushed Curacao as a tropical storm, dropping as much as 265 mm in, of precipitation on the territory, nearly half of the annual precipitation in one day. This made Thomas one of the wettest events in the island's history as well as one of the most devastating. Its flooding killed two people and caused over NAF 60 million, 28 million US dollars, in damage. Geology The northern sea floor drops steeply within 200 feet, 61 m, of the shore. This drop-off is known as the Blue Edge. Government the government of Curacao takes place in a framework of a parliamentary representative democratic country. The Prime Minister is the head of government. Executive power is exercised by the government. Legislative power is vested in both the government and parliament. The judiciary is independent of the executive and the legislature. Convicted felons are held at the Curacao Center for Detention and Correction Prison. Curacao has full autonomy on most matters with the exceptions summed up in the Charter for the Kingdom of the Netherlands under the title Kingdom Affairs. Economy Curacao has an open economy, with tourism, international trade, shipping services, refining, storage, oil and bunkering, and international financial services being the most important sectors. Curacao's economy is well developed and supports a high standard of living, ranking 46th in the world in terms of GDP, PPP, per capita and 27th in the world in terms of nominal GDP per capita. Curacao possesses a high income economy, as defined by the World Bank. Activities related to the port of Alemstad, like the free trade zone, also make a significant contribution to the economy. To achieve the government's aim to make its economy more diverse, efforts are being made to attract more foreign investment. This policy, called the Open Arms Policy, features a heavy focus on information technology companies. Tourism While tourism plays a major role in Curacao's economy, it is less reliant on tourism than other Caribbean countries. 
most tourists originate from the eastern United States, South America and the Netherlands. It currently leads the Caribbean in cruise tourism growth with 610,186 cruise passengers in 2013, a 41.4% increase over the prior year. Harto International Airport received 1,772,501 passengers in 2013 and recently announced capital investments totaling $48 million US dollars aimed at transforming the airport into a regional hub by 2018. Beginning in early 2014, the Lynx rocket plane is expected to be flying suborbital space tourism flights and scientific research missions from a new spaceport on Curacao. The island's insular shelf has a sharp drop-off known as the Blue Edge. Scuba diving tourists often visit for this vista. Coral reefs for snorkeling and scuba diving can be reached without a boat. The southern coast has calm waters as well as many small beaches, such as Jan Thiel and Kazaba. The coastline of Curacao features numerous bays and inlets which serve as popular mooring locations for boats. Some of the coral reefs are affected by tourism. Porta Marie Beach is experimenting with artificial coral reefs in order to improve the reef's condition. Hundreds of artificial coral blocks that have been placed are now home to a large array of tropical fish. Financial Services Curacao's history in financial services dates back to World War I. Prior to this period, the financial arms of local merchant houses functioned as informal lenders to the community. However, at the turn of the century, Curacao underwent industrialization, and a number of merchant houses established private commercial banks. As the economy grew, these banks began assuming additional functions eventually becoming full-fledged financial institutions. The Dutch Caribbean Securities Exchange is located in the capital of Alemstad, as is the Central Bank of Curacao and St. Martin, the latter of which dates to 1828. It is the oldest central bank in the Western Hemisphere. The island's legal system supports a variety of corporate structures and is a corporate haven. Though Curacao is considered a tax haven, it adheres to the EU Code of Conduct against harmful tax practices. It holds a qualified intermediary status from the United States Internal Revenue Service. It is an accepted jurisdiction of the OECD and Caribbean Financial Action Task Force on Money Laundering. The country enforces anti-money laundering and counter-terrorism funding compliance. Trade Curacao trades mainly with the United States, Venezuela, and the European Union. It has an association agreement with the European Union which allows companies which do business in and via Curacao to export products to European markets, free of import duties and quotas. It is also a participant in the U.S. Caribbean Basin Initiative allowing it to have preferential access to the U.S. market. Prostitution Prostitution in Curacao is legal. A large open-air brothel called La Mirage or Campo Alegre has operated near the airport since the 1940s. Curacao monitors, contains and regulates the industry. The government states that the workers in these establishments are thereby given a safe environment and access to medical practitioners. The U.S. State Department has cited anecdotal evidence claiming that, Curacao, destination island, for women trafficked for the sex trade from Peru, Brazil, Colombia, the Dominican Republic, and Haiti, according to local observers. At least 500 foreign women reportedly are in prostitution throughout the five islands of the Antilles, some of whom have been trafficked. The U.S. State Department has said that the government of Curacao frequently underestimates the extent of human trafficking problems. Demographics Languages Curacao is a polyglot society. The official languages are Dutch, Pape Menchu, and English. However, Dutch is the sole language for all administration and legal matters. The most widely spoken language is Pape Menchu, a Creole language spoken in all levels of society. Pape Menchu was introduced as a language of primary school education in 1993 making Curacao one of a handful of places where a Creole language is used as a medium to acquire basic literacy. 
Spanish and English also have a long historical presence in Curacao. Spanish became an important language in the 18th century due to the close economic ties with Spanish colonies in what are now Venezuela and Colombia. Use of English dates to the early 19th century, when the British took Curacao and Bonaire. When Dutch rule resumed in 1815, officials already noted wide use of the language. According to the 2001 census, Pape Menchu is the first language of 81.2% of the population. Dutch is the first language of 8% of the population. Spanish is the first language of 4% of the population, and English is the first language of 2.9%. However, these numbers divide the population in terms of first language and do not account for the high rate of bilingualism in the population of Curacao. Most of Curacao's population is able to converse in at least two of the languages of Pape Menchu, Dutch, English, and Spanish. Ethnicities Because of its history, the island's population comes from a number of ethnic backgrounds. There is an Afro-Caribbean majority of African descent, and also sizable minorities of Dutch, Latin American, French, South Asian, East Asian, Portuguese and Levantine people. Additionally, there are both Sephardic and Ashkenazi Jews. The majority of the black population of Curacao are of mixed race ancestry, primarily African, Dutch, Sephardic Jewish, and Latin American, along with many other racial mixtures. Despite their ancestry, an overwhelming percentage identifies as black. Religion According to the 2001 census, the majority of the inhabitants of Curacao are Roman Catholic, 85%. This includes a shift towards the charismatic renewal or charismatic movement since the mid-70s. Other major denominations are the Seventh-day Adventist Church and the Methodist Church. Alongside these Christian denominations, some inhabitants practice Montementu, and other diaspora African religions. Like elsewhere in Latin America, Pentecostalism is on the rise. There are also practicing Muslims and Hindus. While small, Curacao's Jewish community has had a significant impact on the island's history. Curacao has the oldest active Jewish congregation in the Americas, dating to 1651. The Curacao Synagogue is the oldest synagogue of the Americas in continuous use, since its completion in 1732 on the site of a previous synagogue. Education Public education is based on the Dutch educational system and besides the public schools, private and parochial schools are also available. Since the introduction of a new public education law in 1992, Compulsory primary education starts at age six and continues six years, secondary lasts for another five. The main institute of higher learning is the University of Curacao, enrolling 2,100 students. The comprehensive model of education is under influences from both Dutch and Americans' education offering. Other higher education offering on the island include offshore medical schools, language schools and academies for fine art, music police, teacher and nurse training. Culture Literature Despite the island's relatively small population, the diversity of languages and cultural influences on Curacao have generated a remarkable literary tradition, primarily in Dutch and Pape Menchu. The oral traditions of the Arawak indigenous peoples are lost. West African slaves brought the tales of Anandi thus forming the basis of Pape Menchu literature. The first published work in Pape Menchu was a poem by Joseph Sickman Corson entitled Atardi, published in the La Cruz newspaper in 1905. Throughout Curacao literature, narrative techniques and metaphors best characterized as magic realism tend to predominate. Novelists and poets from Curacao have made an impressive contribution to Caribbean and Dutch literature. Best known are Cola de Brot, Frank Martinus Orion, Pierre Laufer, Elias Juliana, Guillermo Rosario, Bo Ali van Leeuwen and Tip Marag. Cuisine Local food is called cro, pronounced the same as criollo, the Spanish word for creole and boasts a blend of flavors and techniques best compared to Caribbean cuisine and Latin American cuisine. 
Dishes common in Curacao are found in Aruba and Bonaire as well. Popular dishes include, stoba, a stew made with various ingredients such as papaya, beef or goat, guiambo, soup made from okra and seafood, kadushi, cactus soup, soapy mondongo, intestine soup, funkai, cornmeal paste similar to fufu, agali and polenta, and a lot of fish and other seafood. The ubiquitous side dish is fried plantain. Local bread rolls are made according to a Portuguese recipe. All around the island, there are snacks which serve local dishes as well as alcoholic drinks in a manner akin to the English public house. The ubiquitous breakfast dish is pasta key, fried pastry with fillings of cheese, tuna, ham, or ground meat. Around the holiday season special dishes are consumed, such as the halaka and pekal, made out of salt cod. At weddings and other special occasions a variety of kozdoshi are served, kokada, coconut sweets, koori lychee, condensed milk and sugar sweet, and tentelaria, peanut sweets. The curacao liqueur was developed here, when a local experimented with the rinds of the local citrus fruit known as laraya. Surinamese, Chinese, Indonesian, Indian and Dutch culinary influences also abound. The island also has a number of Chinese restaurants that serve mainly Indonesian dishes such as satay, nasi goreng and lumpia, which are all Indonesian names for the dishes. Dutch specialities such as croquettes and oli ebelin are widely served in homes and restaurants. Sports In 2004, the Little League baseball team from Alemstad, Curacao, won the title game against the United States champion from Thousand Oaks, California. The Alemstad lineup featured Jerickson Profer, the standout shortstop prospect who now plays for the Texas Rangers of Major League Baseball. In the 2006 World Baseball Classic, Curacins played for the Netherlands team. Shiron Martis, born in Alemstad, provided the highlight of the tournament for the Dutch team by throwing a seven-inning no-hitter against Panama. The game was stopped due to the mercy rule. The 2010 documentary film, Boys of Summer, details Curacao's Pube Little League All-Stars winning their country's eighth straight championship at the 2008 Little League World Series, then going on to defeat other teams, including Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, and earning a spot in Will I Am Sport. The prevailing trade winds and warm water make Curacao a location for windsurfing. One factor is that the deep water around Curacao makes it difficult to lay marks for major windsurfing events, thus hindering the island's success as a windsurfing destination. There is warm, clear water around the island. Scuba divers and snorkelers may have visibility up to 30 m, 98 feet, at the Curacao Underwater Marine Park, which stretches along 20 kilometers, 12.43 miles, of Curacao's southern coastline. Infrastructure Airport Harto International Airport is located on the island. Its main runway parallels, and is adjacent to the northern coast. Bridges The Queen Emma Pontoon Bridge, 67 meters, 220 feet, long, connects pedestrians between the Punda and Otrabanda districts. This swings open to allow the passage of ships to and from the port. The bridge was originally opened in 1888 and the current bridge was installed in 1939. The Queen Juliana Bridge connects mobile traffic between the same two districts. At 185 feet, 56 m, above the sea, it is one of the highest bridges in the Caribbean. Utilities A private company, Aqualectra delivers potable water and electricity to the island. Rates are controlled by the government. Water is produced by reverse osmosis or desalinization. It services 69,000 households and companies using 130,000 water and electric meters. Notable residents People from Curacao include Arts and culture Tip Marag, famous writer, Izalin Callister, singer-songwriter, Ruena Mersalina, model, actress, beauty queen, Peter Hartman, CEO of KLM. Ingrid Hoffman, 
American television personality and restaurateur, chef on Food Network, Kizzy McHugh, a singer-songwriter and television personality based in the United States, Robbie Muller, cinematographer, closely associated with Wim Wenders and Jim Jarmusch, Penel Saturnino, a graduated percussionist of Berklee College of Music, Winstatius Muller, composer, pianist. Politics and Government Louis Bryan, Admiral in the Venezuelan War of Independence, Moises Fremencio da Costa Gomez, First Prime Minister of the Netherlands Antilles, Daniel de Leon, a socialist leader, George Maduro, a war hero and namesake of Maduro Dam in The Hague, Manuel Carlos Paya, general and competitor of Bolivar during the Venezuelan War of Independence, Tula, leader of the 1795 slave revolt, Evora Astges, current Prime Minister of Curaçao. Sports Players in Major League Baseball Vladimir Belintian, outfielder recently playing for the Cincinnati Reds now in Tokyo Yakult Swallows, Roger Benadena, outfielder playing for the Philadelphia Phillies, Didi Gregorius, shortstop currently playing for the Arizona Diamondbacks, Kenny Jansen, pitcher currently playing for the Los Angeles Dodgers, Andrew Jones, outfielder last played in MLB for the New York Yankees. Now in Tohoku Rakuten Golden Eagles, Ed Jarajens, pitcher currently playing for the Baltimore Orioles, Shiron Martis, pitcher, playing for the Minnesota Twins, Jerickson Profer, infielder for the Texas Rangers, Jonathan Scoop, infielder for the Baltimore Orioles, and Relton Simmons, shortstop currently playing for the Atlanta Braves, Hensley Mullins, professional baseball player and current hitting coach for the San Francisco Giants. Randall Simon, first baseman, Vernon Anita, a football player for Newcastle United in the English Premier League, Rietley Bazaar, footballer currently playing for Ajax in the Dutch Odivisi, Rolly Bunnevesa, a footballer who currently plays for Roder J. C. Kirkrade in the Dutch Odivisi, Timothy Cathalina, football player currently playing for S. V. Spakenberg in the Dutch East Divisie, Angelo Schicht, footballer who currently plays for F. C. Groningen in the Dutch Odivisi. Dyron Dahl, a footballer who currently plays for Kilogram Force in the Vietnamese V League, Roly Ignacio, footballer who played for SV Spakenberg in the Dutch East Divisi, Tyrone Maria, footballer who currently plays for SV Barbali in the Ayuban Division Honor, Cuco Martina, footballer who plays for AKC Woolwich in the Dutch Divisi, Quentin Martinez, footballer who plays for FC Emmen in the Dutch East Divisi, Ryan Romulans, Footballer who currently plays for Armour City in the Dutch East Divisie, Ricardo van Rijg, footballer currently playing for Ajax in the Dutch Divisie, Gregory van der Weel, footballer currently playing for Paris Saint Germain in the French Ligue 1, Jitro Willems, footballer currently playing for PSV in the Dutch Divisie, Marc de Maa, professional cyclist, Chirandi Martina, gold medalist 100m at the Pan American Games 2007. Jean Julian Roger, professional tennis player, Igbton Rillo Roelli Etienne Winklau, IFBB Pro Bodybuilder, Andrew Burney, professional Western rugby player, Aaron Mendes 